Hey guys, so we have here our Nest thermostat and in this video we want to explain to you what you can do if your Nest thermostat frequently runs out of battery and shuts off. So in case your unit doesn't simply not get enough power from the furnace in order to keep the battery charged, then eventually you're going to see here in the technical info under power that the battery voltage keeps dropping and dropping and then eventually the Wi-Fi will first turn off and then eventually the display and in the end the entire thermostat will stop functioning. So one thing we can do as a uh, temporary fix is we can look here at the backside of the display there we find this micro USB charging port and we can just charge this for an hour or two and then it will temporarily work again but of course we want to have a permanent solution so right now you see here this uh, unit is now charged again we could plug this back in and it would function uh, but now let's have a look here at the uh, panel that we see underneath uh, the display and we have here the wiring and in this case you see here there is only one red wire here at the RH and there's no extra wire at the RC and that's where we need to uh, supply more power to and uh, we have here uh, this external power supply so I'm going to post the link also in the uh, comment section below this is a 24 volt AC power supply so alternating current 24 volts and this is what we're going to uh, use in order to supply excessive or more power uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here just to make sure is I'm going to make sure that this actually works so I'm going to use here my multimeter and I'm checking here that we're actually getting here the 24 volts so we see a 23.8 that's very sufficient so this power supply is functioning uh, properly and we can use it and install it right now so the first thing I'm going to do is take off those two Phillips screws that we see here and after that we can pull off this entire panel and then we have here a hole in the wall where the wire comes through and now we have to feed our external power uh, in through this wall or through this hole luckily I do have here an extra outlet on the back side of that wall and there happens to be a fridge that covers it so I can easily install and hide this uh, power supply back there so I just poked or drilled a hole through that wall and I can feed that wire here through here your your situation may be completely different so you will have to find a, an outlet someplace close by and then we can pull here this uh, extra wire through um, of course make sure you don't plug in the power supply at this point keep it unplugged because otherwise we would shorten here the wire permanently and eventually break our power supply before we're using it so the next thing is we're going to uh, attach this plate, the wall plate again, with the two Phillips screws. Right underneath the top screw, you see here in blue this little level, and we can make sure that the uh, thermostat is installed nice and straight. So then we're going to take out our uh, two wires that we have here, and it's alternating current, so we, it does not matter which cable, which of the wires you use for what side right now. So we're just going to clip this here to uh, about a quarter inch, of uh, exposed wire and then the first one the first wire we're going to put here under the into the c slot so we're going to press on that button on the outside of the ring and then we can push that wire right in there and then we want to check and pull it uh, just a little bit making sure that it doesn't come become loose again and then we're going to do the same thing with the rc side as well so we're going to put that in here making sure that it does not come loose now in case you are using your Nest thermostat only for heat and not for cooling then uh, we are pretty much already done at this point and we can install the display again by just uh, clipping it right on here make sure that the Nest is right at the top and then we can check here on the settings screen uh, we're going to go back there so as I said before only if you are using only the furnace are we done at this point so let us check here and have a quick look here we're going to go to equipment and then we see here already we see here the 24 volts common is in there and also power but the C is currently marked in red and that's because we haven't actually plugged in our power supply yet so let's do that really quick and now we see here the 24 volts common is actually uh, now also in uh, 
black, the writing is on black, as well as the RC power is also on black. But we can see that the RH is actually grayed out, the power is grayed out, and that's because we do have a cooling or air conditioning system attached here. And that means that we're going to need a little bridge, a wire bridge between the RC and the RH. So if you have cooling, then you need to install this little bridge and then plug the display back on. And now you see here, everything is, uh, nothing is grayed out anymore. You see a power, both of the powers are dark or black and the 24 volts common is black and everything else looks fine. Okay, so now also we can see here in the system check, heating, cooling, and fan are all available. And that means we're done here. And this is all it for this video. And I hope you found this information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.